SpaceX's eighth Starship launch, while initially successful, ended in a setback with the upper stage's failure during ascent. This failure, following a similar incident in January, prompts a detailed analysis. The launch itself was remarkable, showcasing the powerful capabilities of the rocket and the precision of the initial ascent stages. However, the subsequent issues with the upper stage, including the complete loss of the vehicle, underscore the complexity and challenges of developing cutting-edge space technology. This article aims to provide a comprehensive breakdown of the mission, examining the factors contributing to the mishap. The section provides context for the launch attempt and outlines the key events of the mission itself. The successful initial stages of Starship Flight 8, including the launch and hot stage separation, were notable achievements. However, problems arose with the super heavy booster's engines during the return burn. Critical failures with two of the 10 center engines prevented a fully controlled descent, a similar issue observed in a previous flight. This section details the sequence of events, focusing on the problems with the booster engines during the return burn. The article analyzes why the booster engines failed to reignite properly, offering possible causes related to igniter system issues and potential low power conditions. The focus is on the critical stage where engine failure led to a deviation from the planned mission trajectory. Despite engine issues, the super heavy booster successfully landed, marking a significant achievement in the controlled landing system. Upgrades to the booster's avionics, notably a more advanced flight computer, played a crucial role in enabling this precision. The improved power distribution and integrated smart batteries enhanced the booster's maneuvering capabilities. The successful landing demonstrates the advanced precision and reliability of the landing system. This section focuses on the positive outcome of the booster landing, despite the engine problems. The successful landing, despite the issues, underscores the sophistication and reliability of the booster's advanced systems. The upper stage, Starship 34, experienced a critical failure during ascent. A fire on a Raptor vacuum engine, possibly due to a leak in the regenerative cooling system, triggered a cascading failure of multiple engines. This section details the crucial failure of the upper stage's engines, potentially linked to propellant leaks and subsequent overheating. The article explores possible causes of the fire, including pressure surges, combustion instability, and other potential system malfunctions. This failure highlights the critical need for robust cooling systems in high-performance rocket engines. The failure highlights crucial design flaws and the need for further investigation into the propellant system's performance. SpaceX is investigating potential causes of the engine failure, including pressure spikes, combustion instability, and potential issues with the redesigned propellant distribution system. These factors could have led to the observed leaks and subsequent engine failures. The analysis suggests the need for modifications to the cooling lines, welds, or the incorporation of pressure dampening methods. The article emphasizes the importance of revalidating design changes before proceeding. Potential solutions are explored to address the issues and improve engine stability. SpaceX will likely need to make crucial design modifications to prevent similar issues in future missions. The Flight 8 anomaly yielded crucial data, revealing critical failure points that simulations and ground tests might not replicate. SpaceX's iterative development process allows for learning from setbacks. This data will inform future design iterations and operational strategies, leading to a more robust and reliable Starship. The incident provides invaluable insights into potential weaknesses in the propulsion system. The article underscores the iterative nature of space development, where failures provide valuable feedback for improvements in subsequent missions. Analysis of the data will undoubtedly lead to critical design improvements for future Starship flights. The FAA's investigation into the Starship 8 anomaly underscores the importance of safety procedures in spaceflight. The investigation will determine whether the failure necessitates design changes. SpaceX's Starship program will likely be grounded until the investigation concludes and corrective actions are implemented. The FAA's involvement emphasizes the importance of safety and thorough assessments of launch-related incidents. This section details the immediate response and ongoing investigation by the FAA, emphasizing the safety protocols in place to prevent further mishaps. The investigation is crucial to ensure the safety of future launches. Despite the setback, SpaceX remains committed to its ambitious development timeline. 
Preparations for Flight 9, including cryogenic testing of the Super Heavy booster, are already underway. The article highlights SpaceX's dedication to continuous improvement and iterative development. These preparations demonstrate a focus on learning from Flight 8's anomalies. The upcoming Flight Test 9 serves as a critical step in validating the implemented design modifications and demonstrating the robustness of the Starship design. SpaceX's commitment to improvement and the planned preparations for the next flight highlight the ongoing nature of development and adaptation within the space program. Starship Flight 8, analysis of the causes of the accident and possible consequences. On March 7, 2025, SpaceX performed the eighth test launch of the Starship, which failed. After eight minutes of flight, the ship lost control, communication was cut off, and the vehicle disintegrated about 145 kilometers above the Caribbean Sea. This is the second accident in a row. In January, Flight 7, Starship also crashed due to a similar problem with an engine section. We collected official and insider information and conducted a technical analysis of the possible causes of the crash. Official data and results of previous investigations. Immediately after the crash, SpaceX confirmed that the Starship had been destroyed in flight and the company and regulators launched an investigation into the incident. No detailed information about the causes of the Flight 8 crash was publicly disclosed at the time of the incident. SpaceX only noted that engineers were analyzing telemetry to determine the root cause, emphasizing success comes through the lessons we learn. With this wording, the company recognized the RUD, rapid unscheduled disassembly, of the ship and the need for technical improvements before the next launches. It is known that the seventh test flight of the Starship, January 16, 2025, ended in a similar failure. The upper stage also disintegrated about eight minutes after launch. SpaceX's investigation has determined the cause of that accident. According to the official report, the flight caused a harmonic resonant load on the power elements of the engine system, which was much higher than expected based on ground tests. These abnormal harmonic oscillations led to damage in the fuel supply lines, including methane leaks that caused fires in the Starship's engine compartment. The flames in the unpressurized attic between the fuel tanks and the heat shield disabled most systems. Almost all engines shut down in an emergency, except for one, after which the ship lost control and communication with it was lost in a few seconds. The autonomous flight termination system detonated the malfunctioning vehicle according to protocol to prevent uncontrollable debris from falling. Attic, in the context of aircraft or missile technology, means an unpressurized compartment or cavity. It is a space used to accommodate piping, wiring, or other auxiliary systems. Typically, such areas can accumulate hot gases or contribute to the spread of flames in the event of a fire, which can lead to the failure of critical systems. SpaceX introduced several changes, which we described in more detail in the article, how engineers prepared Starship for a new flight and why explosions lead to progress before the next launch. It conducted a 60-second test of the engines on the bench, made hardware changes to the fuel lines of the vacuum engines, adjusted the fuel cooling modes, and limited the maximum thrust level. In addition, the attic ventilation system was modernized by installing additional exhaust valves and nitrogen purging to inertly extinguish possible leaks. Causes of the Starship Flight 8 crash. Despite the measures taken, Flight 8 repeated the fate of its predecessor. The live stream showed how the number of Starship engines running decreased during the ascent, indicating that some of the Raptors had been shut down prematurely. Forums and specialized communities immediately hypothesized that the reasons could be the same as in the January flight. Later, this version was confirmed by insider information. A detailed description was posted online, citing a source close to the investigation. This insider had previously published a photo of the damaged engine compartment of the Starship S-34 after the explosion. The data he provided is largely consistent with the official findings on Flight 7 and allows for a deeper understanding of the technical side of the problem. According to this unofficial leak, Flight 8's telemetry showed a recurrence of the S-33 effect, the same anomaly that happened to the ship's serial number 33 during Flight 7. The main factor was again harmonic oscillations in the methane supply system. It is believed that the problematic link is the innovation of the Starship 5-2 version, 
Vacuum insulated fuel lines to the Raptor vacuum engines are VAC. These are double heat insulated pipes that are laid through the oxidizer tank to power the three vacuum engines on the upper stage. In the V2 modification, the total fuel supply was increased by about 25%, the piping scheme was changed, and additional lines and joints appeared. As a result, the structure became less rigid, and during the flight, a resonance appeared in it that had not been previously recorded in tests. The standard exhaust valves and the nitrogen fire extinguishing system did not have time to remove and dilute the combustible gases. The leakage volume exceeded their capabilities, just as it had happened during the previous accident. This time, the effects of the resonance were more fatal. While on Flight 7, one of the six Starship propulsion systems was still operating until the end of the flight during Flight 8, an earlier critical failure probably occurred. Oscillations in the fuel lines caused them to rupture in the lower part, near the Arvec engines. The moment when the main liquid oxygen tank was almost empty was especially dangerous. While the tank was full, the liquid column dampened vibrations. But as the fuel burned out, the pipelines were left without a damper, and the amplitude of vibrations increased dramatically. As a result, several methane fuel lines were depressurized at once. High-pressure methane rushed into the inner tank compartment, causing a rapid-fire outbreak. It is likely that the blast wave at that moment ruptured the turbo pump unit, TU, of one of the vacuum raptors and damaged the adjacent central engine. Damage to the nozzle regenerative cooling system, which removes heat through the circulation of fuel in the chamber walls, was the fatal blow to the engines. Almost instantly, they all lost thrust and went out. The ship was left without active stabilization and began an uncontrolled rotation, which was recorded on the telemetry video. Then, as stipulated by the protocol, the emergency detonation system eliminated the vehicle at a high altitude. Although these details have not yet been officially confirmed, the likelihood of such a scenario is high. The factors mentioned above must coincide with the previously identified problems at the previous launch. Moreover, there are currently few alternative hypotheses. The first telemetry analyses did not reveal that the accident was caused by, say, a specific engine malfunction or control system error. On the contrary, the failure was simultaneous for several engines and was caused by a factor external to them. We can also reject the version that the first stage flame impacted the second stage during the turnaround maneuver. During hot stage separation, the super heavy jet could theoretically damage the ship's hull or equipment but in this case, there were no signs of such damage. Instead, the hot separation mode could have indirectly aggravated the situation. It creates an additional dynamic load on the tail section, which may have increased the oscillations of the pipelines. In any case, the main theory is that it was the resonant vibration of the V2 ship structure that caused the cascading failures, the technical aspect and similarity to the pogo oscillation. In rocketry, there have been cases of pogo oscillations when fluctuations in fuel pressure resonate with mechanical vibrations of the body. Such phenomena occurred in the Saturn V and the Soviet Super Heavy Rocket N1, leading to accidents. In Starship, these fluctuations are amplified by the V2 architecture, where the fuel lines to the vacuum raptors are moved further from the center and have complex insulation. Hot staging, which increases the dynamic load at the junction of the stages. Two types of motors in the upper stage, atmospheric and vacuum, with different feeding schemes. Compared to the massive first stage of the Super Heavy, the second stage is lighter and less rigid, which increases the risk of unforeseen resonances.